I'll just it's stunning. And that's our neighborhood. That's pretty cool. Morning. It's 6.52. I am normally not awake at this time, but two things. Number one, I did say I wanted to start waking up earlier, making the most of my mornings. Normally that would mean 7 o'clock, not 6.30, which is when I wake up today. However, I also just have a very sore throat this morning, so it wasn't it feel nice to just be lying in bed anyway. So I got up, I've got a cup of tea now, and I'm gonna make the most of this day. It's a very, very exciting day because yesterday we had a spontaneous nighttime trip to IKEA and it was extremely successful. How much was the land? 35. So that's 105. And then how much was the trolley tent? That's we got some spare change. Pretty much got everything we wanted to revamp the apartment, which is the job for today. So I'm incredibly excited for that. Um also gotta go grocery shopping and watch a lot of statistics lectures for the start of the week. So there's that as well. I'm gonna start with the IKEA stuff because that's definitely the most exciting. So I'll show you what we got. This is a cool little lamp that sort of resembles like a an old oil lamp if that makes sense. Also got this which is like a big standing lamp for the lounge room. It's really cool. I like the design with like this little cloud like thing on the top. Two of these wooden bedside tables that also come with like this cool glass top. Some more just like boring Useful things like extension cords and cleaning equipment. We got this, which actually extends out into a little trolley system, and we're going to use this in the kitchen because our kitchen does not have a lot of storage. So we can put like maybe some like spices and stuff, and like just I don't know. Maybe cups, mugs, I don't know, but this is going to be useful for storage in the kitchen. So that's very exciting. And we got a big rug for the living room, which I'm really excited about because I feel like it's just going to add a lot more depth and dimension and excitement. Not necessarily excitement, just warmth to the room because our carpet is just a bit, you know, it's, it's just a plain old carpet. Um, I think this is gonna be, it's gonna be fun. And we also got new duvet. I'm so excited for this one. This was not on the plan, like this wasn't on our list of things, but then you know how it is in IKEA, like you go in there, you walk through and you're like, Oh my gosh, that looks cool. Oh my gosh. Look at that design though, that's the pillowcase. So that's it for our IKEA haul. Oh, we also got another little trolley um, for the bathroom as well, because we don't have like a cupboard or any storage in the bathroom. So, oh, it's so exciting.
Rise and shine. Freezing, but it's very useful considering we have not a lot of kitchen storage space. 10 out of 10. Right, and last but not least, the bedroom. Yay! This is really cool. It's great to have something with a bit more character than our normal white duvet. And then these little beds and tables, they look amazing, but also I built them, so like that's kind of cool. Thanks, IKEA. Um, so it is one of those on either side of the bed, and yeah, all in all, the space is just feeling very refreshed, very cozy and new, and I'm inspired to have a really good week. So. We're getting a tattoo today, and by we, I mean me. I am getting my first ever tattoo in less than an hour. I'm very excited, I'm a tiny smidge nervous, but not as much as I thought I would be. I'm, I've come to terms with the fact that I'm getting it, so I'm not really nervous about like the concept of a tattoo or anything. Now I'm just like slightly nervous for the pain, but I feel like it's gonna be fine, even if it's really painful, it's like a couple of hours, that's fine. So I'll see what videos I can get while I'm there, but it's a studio where you can't bring guests in because it's really small, so um, I won't have Finn or anyone there to like film it, so I'm not sure how much footage I'll be able to get from the actual experience, but I'm super keen to just like meet the artist, have a chat and just like, oh, see what the experience is like. And yeah, I'm getting it like here. Think. Unless I change my mind at the last minute, which maybe, but I don't think so. Um. So yeah, this dream has become or is becoming a reality. So that's exciting. I will definitely fill you in on the experience on the other side of the evening. Wish me luck. Okay. so cozy it's about honestly I think it's like two months one or two months after I filmed the last video that you would have just seen which was probably the tattoo the pre-tattoo chat I guess uni just took over and a whole heap of things and I just kind of forgot about this so yeah the tattoo updates I obviously did end up getting my tattoo it went really really well I was the appointment was about three hours of tattooing. It was painful, like it was definitely painful. The spot that I got it in, I think is supposed to be a fairly painful spot. 
but it was fine. It was totally fine. It didn't scare me away from tattoos. Not that I'm really keen yet to get another one. So yeah, it was a good experience. Artist was awesome, really lovely. The healing process is, you know, a few months down the track now and it all went really well. I'm so happy with this tattoo. I don't think I want to show it just because it's kind of, I don't know, it's just something personal and meaningful to me. Um, yeah, so that's, that's that. But it was a highly recommended experience actually. And I was talking to some of my friends about this, but it sort of made me realize, and I know this might seem so obvious to some people, especially if you've had tattoos before, but I was so nervous about it. And I was like, oh, is this gonna make me into like a different person, which is so stupid. But I kind of, I guess I had these preconceived ideas about the type of person who would get a tattoo and I didn't really see myself that way. And I don't know, like as soon as I got it and like a few days had passed, I was like, damn like this obviously really didn't change me at all and it's just a tiny little part a little piece of art on my body and like yeah it kind of made me it's a it's a good reminder not to overthink things which I tend to do sometimes so I'm really happy I got it it's also the meaning is like for my parents so that was really nice as well yeah it was all around a great experience um so many other things have happened since then though like first of all uh <laughs> love the apartment updates they have been great sleep routine did not stay i absolutely have not woken up at 6 30 since that video and my sleep has just been so bad i sleep for about like 10 11 hours every single night and then sometimes I'm, i'll nap during the day as well so there's something going on with my sleep and fatigue I'm trying to sort it out with my doctor but we don't really know what it is yet so that's something that i'm working with but it's funny because i look back on that video from a couple months ago where i was like oh i'm gonna wake up early and everything's going so well and you know i was obviously in a really great place and I'm in a very different place now for so many reasons, but I'm still very happy with how things are going. And that is also a good reminder that a good quality of life doesn't just look one way, you know? Not everything needs to be running smoothly for life to be enjoyable. Maybe it sounds like I've just tried to convince myself, but it is true. I mean, my life is a little bit more chaotic now. I guess I'm getting into the depths of my thesis at uni and life is busy. Things are happening. But despite all of that, there's still so much fun to be had. And once again, I know I said this last vlog, but I'm so grateful to live here where there's something to do all the time. And I'm grateful as well that it's getting into the depths of autumn. Like right now, it's cold, it's raining outside. And I don't know if you can tell, I'm just, I'm vibing with it. I feel like I'm ready for the winter and the autumn and sort of just like having that more cozy lifestyle and getting back into my writing. And once again, I think even though now I've said this a million times, even though my life looks very different to how it did at the start of this video, the one thing that I think has remained the same is that I still have a lot of excitement about what's to come in my future, even just whether it be like tomorrow, next week, next month or next year. So that's pretty cool. I think that's all. I got into rock climbing. So I will put in a few clips of that maybe at the end of this video to round it off. But yeah, until next time, that's my life update. Hope you enjoyed.